a well-regulated militia being necessary for the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms, shall not be infringed. We're talking about gun bans and gun confiscations right now. And um, the weapons they're trying to they're talking about banning, of course, are uh, AR variants, uh, AK variants, and SKS variants. Uh, right now, if you watch any major news network that's having this conversation, uh, you'll notice two things right away. They're incorrectly labeling them assault weapons, and they are, with the exception of Fox News, uh, for the most part, they're having the conversation from within the pro-gun control community. They're not having, they're not inviting pro-gun people on the shows with them for whatever reason. I've got a theory as to why that is, but I'm going to keep my mouth shut. Now, people are talking about banning guns and currently in our in in our current environment right now we got people trying to pull the the child safety thing the child safety argument okay that's fine i'm all for child safety i'm a police uh, i'm a military uh policeman i'm a law enforcement official i can respect you know legislation that protects our our nation's children so Let's talk about guns and children. You realize that thousands more kids die in car accidents than they do in accidental shootings, out and out homicides, playing with daddy's gun. So what we're having the conversation of banning guns in the name of child safety, how about we ban cars? in the name of child safety. Because like, guns don't kill anywhere near as many uh, kids as cars do. And while we're at it, let's go, let's go a step further. How about swimming pools? You know how many kids every year drown in swimming pools? A whole lot more than get accidentally or intentionally shot. So, while we're talking about this, banning guns in the name of child safety, let's talk about banning swimming pools and let's talk about banning cars or restricting cars uh, in the name of child safety. Because those two things combined kill much, well, even separately, kill much, 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 much more children than guns do. And what we're talking about cars and trucks in relation to guns, what right does anyone out there, aside from me, have to say what guns I can and can't use. If we're going to do that, then we should start regulating cars the same way. Uh, stating, you know, for instance, you can only own a pickup truck if you have a line of work that requires you to have a pickup truck. There's an argument right now from the pro gun banners that. <clears throat> AK variants, AR variants, and SKS variants make horrible hunting rifles. First of all, what do you know about hunting? You don't know anything about hunting if you're an anti-gun person because you're probably an animal rights person as well. No offense to those people, but You've got people trying to regulate something they know absolutely nothing about, except what they've seen in movies and on TV. ARs, AKs, and SKSs make great hunting rifles. The reason why is because they are very modular. It's easy to build one directly in line with what you need from it. If you're making a lot of long range shots, you can put a a bull barrel, a heavy uh, match grade bull barrel on that sucker to make it accurate for long range shooting. If 
you do a lot of uh, shooting at game from close range. Cool. Short, or short barrel, uh, collapsible stock. If you hog hunt at night, you can get 90 or 100 round drum magazines to take out as many hogs as you can. Uh, attach lights, lasers to the weapon very easily. Uh, if you shoot and it's a bad shot, the animal's wounded or you miss, you have a very quick follow-up shot. But ARs, AKs, and SKSs make horrible hunting rifles. Says the people that don't know a damn thing about either guns or hunting. And uh, by the way, those of you who say that that ARs, AKs, and SKSs are bad hunting rifles, it, it, let me put it in perspective. Some of you people that are of that persuasion have people talking and in interviewing with the media that are so ignorant that they are saying, and I quote, "No hunter needs an." A, an, an assault weapon because there would be nothing left of the animal because it would blow it up. How many people do you know that have incendiary rounds? Okay. They won't blow up. You shoot it one good time just like you would with a bolt action rifle or a lever action rifle or a single shot. Make a good shot, it's going to go down. Not going to keep shooting. Unless it's a hog. I have been known to be pretty brutal to hogs, but that's that's not hunting. That's straight eradication and pest control. Um, <clears throat> ARs, AKs, and SKS variants make bad defensive rifles. Now this one is kind of a half truth. They have the magazine capacity to be a, a, a potentially an exceptional defensive rifle. Where you run into trouble is the fact that they shoot either a 5.56 by 45 millimeter or a 223 or a 7.62 by 39, I believe is what it is, uh, or a 308. And there's a few other calibers. There's so many different calibers you can get in ARs and 8Ks or SKSs, uh, but it's a rifle. Now, unless you live out in the country, where you might actually need uh, a weapon capable of shooting long distances. Uh, if you live in, in town, if you live in a residential neighborhood, a heavily populated residential neighborhood like a subdivision, uh, if you live in an apartment, if you live in a duplex or a condo, a rifle is a bad self-defense weapon. The reason being is because not only can it go through the person you just shot at, but, even after passing through them, it still has more than enough punch to go through a wall. So yes, they do make bad self-defense weapons in an urban environment. In a rural environment, where you have the chance to see danger coming from a long way off, they are excellent defensive weapons. Because of their ease of customization, to suit your needs for what you're going to be using it for because of the fact it's a rifle and rifles are great for long distance shooting and because of the fact of it's got 30 rounds and it's quick as shit to reload so yeah ARs, AKs and SKSs bad assault rifles to quote Jank Ugar of the Young Turks <laughs> wrong again Bob nice try though Guys, y'all are gun owners out there watching this, you need to get involved. You need to watch the news, you need to go online uh, and do some research. You need to stay informed and stay involved. You need to contact your representatives at all levels and let them know I am a gun owner and I vote. In next election, depending on what you vote for in whatever official capacity they're in, they're either going to be campaigning for you or against you. If you got a YouTube channel and you're a gun owner, make some noise. Put up some videos. We need to be loud as hell right now. Finally, join the NRA. 
plain and simple. Remember, united we stand, divided we fall.